How is my mental health? Do you still work at Starbucks? <clears throat> Am I single? What is my inspiration in life? Um, girl Jess Nicole and welcome back to my channel so we're just gonna hop right into it today I asked you guys a couple of days ago to send me some questions that you guys always wanted to ask me and if you are not following me on my social medias what are you doing but anyway I asked you guys to ask me some questions that you always wanted to ask me and we are gonna answer them in this video whether it's good bad ugly indifferent I'm answering them all. I ain't blocking no smoke so let's get into it right now i already have my little setup i decided to do this as a mukbang style some shrimp crab legs eggs and then i got my own little seasoning and then i have me a raspberry lemon drop <sighs> today has been a day um so let me take a little sip first give me a second <clears throat> let's hop right into it the first question was what is my inspiration in life um is to just be better than i was yesterday um i know that's like so cliche but that's genuinely how i feel i never want to you know just sell myself short i never want to end up in my child i had a real i had a good childhood i was in a loving family we you know i had a good childhood but it was just certain things that i would not want to go back to so that's kind of what like motivates me to keep going is the fact that I never mm, let's go not saying go without but knowing the things knowing the things that I want and the things that I want out of my life are what keeps me motivated I want to do certain things and I want to have I want to live a certain kind of lifestyle so that's what my really my inspiration is is to be better than I was yesterday and to always put my best foot forward and to know that I can be better and to do better. So that's really, um, I overcooked these shrimp, but they still good. But yeah, so that's like my inspiration just to, like I said, be better than I was yesterday and to, you know, just strive for the best, knowing the life that I want to live. And you gotta, you gotta show up. You gotta show up every single day to be the person that you want to be. Because not only are you counting on you, the future people are counting on you. So yeah. The next question was, how do you stay so positive and happy? Who said I do? Um, <laughs> thank you for thinking that of me, but no, I do not always stay positive and happy. Well, I'm not going to say that. I always try to stay positive and stay happy, but of course, you know, life be life and I'm not perfect. Things don't always work out for me. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just something that you have to do every day. I choose to be happy. I choose to not let certain things bother me. I choose to not let certain things get me down. And it's just more so of a headspace. I mean, so sometimes I may win that battle that day. And other times, you know, life get me down and I have a rough day. And, you know, it is what it is. But you always have to keep pushing. Like I said, you always have to show up for yourself to make sure that you are the best person for yourself and you're doing what you want to do i need a nap um the next question is am i single yes i am single i have been single for a while now oh, he gonna cry in the car this stuff on the stove and wasn't paying attention and just forgot all about it but like I said, we still can eat it because we ain't wasting no um, we ain't wasting no crab job. Hmm. But yeah, I am single and I am not opposed to dating. I am definitely looking. Um, but yeah, I mean you know hey, if somebody if someone comes my way and on the same type of time that I'm on, why not? The next question is how is my mental health? Um, my mental health is okay. I've been feeling pretty good lately. Haven't really much has brought me down. 
Um, but like I said, of course, you know, there are some days that life just be, give me your best shot. Come on, come on, give me your best shot. But like I said, baby, my mom ain't raised no hug. So, so yeah, um, just like the how life coming, I'm, I'm coming 10 times harder. My God coming 10 times harder behind me, you feel me? So, yeah, that's pretty much that. The next question is, what is the most delicious food you've ever eaten? Anything that was edible? Um, no, I'm lying. I am a really big, big foodie, as you can see. I love to eat. I love food. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it really just all depends. I love soul food. I love the comfort food. Um, I love snacking. I love snacking so much. I, a little bit too much. Um, but, yeah, I just love... I don't have a specific kind of food it just if it tastes good to me you know that's just my thing but I do have a guilty pleasure that whenever I go back home to Chicago y'all probably have heard me talk about this that I love to um, I love White Castle White Castle is always my first stop I know people from Chicago like girl White Castle yes White Castle White Castle is my first stop like I just love it so much yeah, it's good perfect though mm-hmm now that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, White Castle was my favorite stop. So, so yeah, it's so simple, but yet so delicious. Y'all don't judge me. If y'all see this and see that I messed up, just just don't, just don't even. I messed these, I messed these crabs up so bad. Oh my goodness, I'm so mad. So yes, moving on to the next question. How does it feel to be that girl of 2024? um it feel good <laughs> i feel like the baddest the baddest of 2024 i'm just kidding somebody really did ask me that. i'm not even joking um but it feels good i feel like all girls is that girl it's just that era if you want to be that girl you got to be that girl you got to show up every single day you know put like i said put your best foot forward and just being that being what you want to be the next question is, what is my favorite drink? Um, I'm guessing this is asking about my favorite Starbucks drink because that's what everybody else was asking about Starbucks. I don't have a favorite Starbucks drink and especially I don't have a favorite one that I have even made because um, it really just depends on what I'm drinking. Like seriously, it really just depends on what I'm drinking at the time because it's so many that I haven't tried yet that it's like, oh, this is the best or this is the best. And it's like, eh, it really just all depends. Um, but if I had to choose, if I had to choose what my go-to would be, would be, I made a drink, um, a couple months ago. It was oh that's what it was it was a macadamia it was a iced oat milk macadamia latte with toasted vanilla sweet cream foam and it was blonde espresso that drink I, I made chef's kiss like i think i have a video posted of that drink already but that video is literally i mean that drink is literally chef's kiss like i'm not even joking mm -hmm. the next question is how many Tarani syrups do you have? Child, if I knew, I would tell you. I didn't, I haven't counted, but um, I would say at least like 30 to 40. I haven't counted yet, so don't quote me on it. The next question is, do you still work at Starbucks? <clears throat> Do you still work at Starbucks? And the truth of that question is, no, I do not. I no longer work at Starbucks because I got fired. Damn. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I got fired. I got fired from Starbucks. I wrote it down because I low key forgot. Um, my last day at Starbucks was October 26th of 2023. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a rough, uh, 
I knew I was gonna make this video, but I definitely didn't think it was gonna be under these circumstances. Um, and let me, let me, let me um, kind of like backtrack a little bit. Um, so, it was a lot that was going on at Starbucks. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like find my words, but it's like I'm like beating around the bush at the same time. Long, let me, let me just give y'all the bullet points. Long story short, I, I don't work at Starbucks anymore and I got fired from Starbucks. I got fired from Starbucks because I was untruthful um, and I got caught. Story time. I got fired for time clock fraud. And what that means is, is when you clock out, we have, we got a new system that when you clock in and clock out, if you, um, need some, like a need, like a manager or something to change your time that you can send a request and then they'll fix it for, Hey, I came in, you know, five minutes early, but I forgot to clock in. Can you go ahead and change my time for me? That's like what that is. And basically we had a new system where we could do it ourselves over the phone. Or on on our phones and um this particular time hey guys quick intermission don't mind how i look but i wanted to um pop in into this video because i'm editing it now and tell you that even though you guys are gonna see like some stuff moving around and it's gonna look like i'm like jumping and skipping clips it's because i was like rambling and talking all, all over the place and i wanted to get a clear thought process. I wanted you all to see the clear thought process that I was having. So it was kind of like all over the place, but all in all, what I'm saying is going to have an end result. So I just want to let you guys know that. Don't mind that the clips are broken up or anything like that. It's all going to have a purpose in the end. Okay, back to the video. And when we adopted the new system of we can basically clock in on our phones, beforehand, I, I was getting in trouble with being not with not being on time that's how that all started with it was like months that i just did not want to be there i didn't want to show up i didn't want to work there anymore but i wasn't like i said taking the precautionary steps to move forward and finding new employment so basically i was just you know coming in when i wanted to come not necessarily like missing shifts or anything like that or calling out it's just like they target gave us a five minute grace period i feel like i'm sorry i feel like i'm talking in circles but target gave us a five minute grace period so if you started work at three at three o'clock you by 305 you could still clock in by 306 you'd be late i would basically come in at like 315 317 307 like things like that and it would basically make me late um so and this was like months and it got to a point that they were like hey jessica if you continuously are late we're just gonna let you go and i'm like you know what of course i'm like yeah yeah i got it i got it but then with my friends i'm like girl i don't care they can fire me they need me they need me anyway so um so yeah so so i'm like you know whatever so then fast forward to um i think it was like a few days before i had gotten fired i had came in i think i had like three shifts early morning shifts and i had came in late to each of those shifts so then um i stayed late one particular day and I was like, oh, crap, I came in late these two days. Let me go ahead and um, insert my time to say that I came on time because I didn't want to get fired. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So, uh, and mind you, this, is, this was my first time ever, you know, doing this. This is my first time ever saying, like, you know, I'm finna you know change my time or you know anything like that like I, i've never done it before so yeah so basically i end up changing my time and you know not thinking nothing of it i think i did it i think i came in like 7 20 and i put it for like 705 so it was like a 15 minute discrepancy or whatever um yeah so then um i came into work like normal i think i was ha like having a closing shift or something just just like normal um i'm working i think they 
which I, what I didn't know is that Target has a policy that you basically have to work at least half your shift before they fire you. Why? I don't know. I didn't know that was a thing. Because maybe you could have called me on the phone and told me not to show up. Like, what? But whatever. So, um, so yeah. So basically, I came in. Everything is normal. And then I'm always, like, I'm always chatting. I'm always talking. I'm always, you know, kikiing, basically. So I'm talking with my friends and then, uh, or my coworkers. And then my boss, she comes in. She's like, hey, Jessica, um... I need to talk to you come with me and then as we're walking we're like walking towards like the the manager's offices and I'm just I'm literally talking to her like uh -uh, I don't want to go in there I'm not trying to get fired joking like I was literally just joking like but like low-key yeah it was basically so then they pulled me into the office and she started asking me about um Put me to the office and HR actually started asking me about, you know, the time difference and, hey, do you remember clocking in this time? And it says that you clocked in this time. And me, I'm literally just like, I have forgotten. I'm so serious. I literally forgot. And I'm just like, no, no. What are you talking about? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Well, it says you clocked in here, but the camera shows that you clocked in here. And I'm literally, I'm literally like, I don't know what you're talking about like and she was she even said she was like okay and then that's grounds for termination and you know yada 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 and I'm still not getting it I'm still not understanding what she's talking about and I could see now looking back I could see in her face that she knew that I didn't get it I guess like I said I was just having a slow dumb moment I don't know um so then yeah sorry i'm about to take this i'm sorry it's like getting on my nerves i tried to make this into a mukbang and i should have just did a sit down ask questions video but anyway i could see that she basically knew that i just didn't get it basically she was like yeah so since we seen this on your name basically today is going to be your last day like she literally had like she had to tell me and i'm just like that's when i got it i was like oh you mean i'm getting fired like i'm li i'm literally thinking like she's talking about somebody else like what you, like what are you talking about but she was like yeah today's gonna be, be your last day like i'm like okay and i'm still just like and everything just went silent it was literally like like flat line i was like I just I didn't I literally didn't hear anything that she said like because after that it was just like you know whatever it instantly pops into my head if she wouldn't have fired you you would have never left and for that for me it was of course I was sad because it was an end of an era like I was literally the best <laughs> now I'm just kidding but um a little bit of backstory of uh, I have worked at Target for I think it would have been eight to nine years at Target as a whole and then about seven years at that specific Target location that I've worked at and um, within the last three years I just kept telling myself next year I'm gonna quit next year I'm gonna quit I'm not gonna work here anymore I'm gonna find me you know a new job and like I said it's just it was never a point that I put that foot forward to move forward and um, you know get another job which y'all don't see aside from you know all my happy videos and all my you know all of that um, I was going through a really really rough time at, at Target it was, it was not all you know happy and giggles and it was times that I just I mean of course just like anybody you know it was hard for me to get up to go to work every day because I just didn't like the environment that I was in and I just was I felt so stuck and I didn't know how to get out um to be frankly honest and especially yeah and I just 
because of course I needed a job obviously it wasn't like I but it's like I knew that I needed a job but I also didn't do what it took to find new employment I didn't do what it took to you know move around basically but it definitely was a culture shock and I can finally tell this story without crying and um yeah like I said it was definitely an end of an era and it was just yeah, I wish I would have, like I said, left on different terms, but unfortunately, I got beside myself. I take full responsibility. Like I said, nothing, nothing that I, nothing that I said warranted me to be untruthful. And I, I definitely want to make that clear before this video ends: is I take full responsibility for what I did, and especially I take full responsibility for not leaving when I knew I was unhappy. Um, yeah, I knew I was unhappy and I still showed up and did a mediocre job and it was, let me stop lying, cause it was never mediocre. I still showed up and did my job knowing that I was unhappy and when I should have, you know, moved around. So like I said, luckily, you know, me getting fired was a blessing in disguise, but it's like also I would have never thought I would have gotten fired for one and fired on those type of terms. It was just like a, you know, like, like, dang, like, <laughs> dang. But, um, but yeah, it was just, like I said, long story long. That's basically pretty much everything. I don't work at Target anymore. Um, I seen a lot of the comments. That was another one of the questions. Are we ever going to get it always serve that smile again? And of course, of course, I mean, I'm going to still, you know, keep doing my full time content creating. I'm never, you know, going to stop that. Um, of course, I would I would love if you all would continuously join me on this journey of life and join me on this journey of my content creating youtube TikTok, you know instagram all of my future endeavors um i know that you all are so used to me being um in this particular set in this particular box that it's just like now i know it's you know like a like a whoa kind of situation but you know life happens and you know things happen things transpire and we we just gotta roll with it so that's pretty much where i'm at it is a huge weight lifted off my shoulders because it was so hard um keeping this from from everybody you know it sucks that you know i have to do this because that was another one of the things that I really did not want um, for people to get so attached to me in, in a specific role because I always, you know, planned on leaving Starbucks, leaving Target, and it's like, will they follow me or, you know, will they will they continue to support me or will they, you know, it's, it's all, all those thoughts in my head and that's not somewhat kind of like held me back from you know leaving and when I you know start did when I did start getting you know all the love and all the support it's like well I want to quit Starbucks so it's like you know are they still going to support me it was always that in my head but it's like now I don't have Starbucks to fall back on um but yeah this this is definitely just going on and on and on and I don't want to you know keep pressing the issue so yeah um and of course i will i look forward to all the years that we have to come i love you all thank you all for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and if you did enjoy don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up turn on your post notifications show me some love in the comments and of course if you guys have any more questions don't forget to hit them in the comments i'll be sure to answer them I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you all. I thank you guys for walking with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.